Hi, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister. Uh, today we're going to look at creating an outline or keycaps font. An outline font refers to uh, a character that uh, some designers want to create that has no fill. So if you had created a, a character here with a, a path within a path, you'd see that it has a fill. But what if you don't want there to be a fill. You have to give the appearance that there is no fill. Pretty easy. All you do is select that outer path and go here to Element, Expand Stroke. I'm going to make a big fat stroke around it. The counter, which has counterclockwise pathing in the middle here, it needs to also have a stroke on it. And so now you see I have uh, a character that has no fill. So this is why some people call it an outlined character or an outline character. Now a keycaps character is when people want to create a font that has a series of boxes that look like uh, the characters on a keyboard. So we're going to go ahead and correct our path direction here. What you see is as I'm trying to build this I got a problem. I need to select the outer path and I need to expand the stroke on it. Okay. Now, what I've got is a, a box around my character. My character has no fill and as you can see you could experiment with this and create all different varieties of keycap or outline fonts. Now, what I want to describe is why this works. It's called a postscript winding fill. We use the analogy that there are some marching ants who are marching across the screen here. They've been instructed to carry buckets of paint with them and when they get to, to the first path they see they're supposed to paint. Then they march along and the next path they're told to stop painting until they find another path. So they stop and they keep marching along, they get to the next path and they paint. Then they stop, then they march, then they paint, then they stop. So that's the description of a postscript winding fill. And that's why this can work and you can do uh, different uh, varieties of this. You're going to have a problem if any of your paths are broken. Uh, you can repair them by uh, dragging a point back on top of a another point if they need to be merged. Uh, you could also set your preferences so that you can detect broken paths. You can see here unclosed paths or points that don't quite join but they're just adjacent. And as always go up here and do element correct path directions just to be sure. Uh, you may not know this that you can put your you can select a, any uh, point on a path and look down on the bottom left corner here you'll see if it's clockwise. Clockwise means it's supposed to fill and then counterclockwise means we don't fill. So good luck on creating keycap and outline fonts. Thank you for watching the Photographer tutorial series. Let us know if there are other topics you'd like to see covered in this series and as always refer to your user manual for more details.